Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Heroes, Trails in the Sky, second chapter. I am the RN Genius, but you may call me Eric, and in the last episode, we went to the top of the Axis Pillar. The Axis Pillar itself is actually an antenna of sorts to transmit, um, to, to transfer the power of the aureole over to the entire city. The actual aureole sits underneath. It sits in a chamber, the chamber we are located at. It's called Core Sector Themelaz. We had to fight Löwe. And after the fight with Löwe, Weizmann took control of Joshua. Made him his puppet. And um, I think I know someone who's going to do something about that. We're just shy of our final boss fight, I think. Let's check out this core sector. Preemptive attack against these. Master Trapper, huh? I don't really intend to fight every enemy here. I, I, I mean, I'm not entirely sure, but I'll see. If there's chests to be gotten, I will definitely loot them, but I somehow have a feeling that we're not going to come across that many more chests. You know the music is not quite fitting my mood. The last episode was quite shocking. It wasn't, well, easy to bear. But we're gonna have to do something about this. I mean, Joshua was taken away from Estelle again, but he made a promise. And Joshua would never betray that promise he made. Not of his own free mind. We're gonna have to do something about that. We're gonna have to make him remember. And I think Estelle has just the way of doing that. <laughs> Celestial Bomb, Reviving Bomb. Welcome everyone, welcome to the home of all that is sacred. Joshua! Hmm. You passed the final trial, excellent, excellent! Be proud, you are worthy to be present for the resurrection of the Shining Ring, the Oriole. Yeah, I'm not interested in that at all, thanks. I'm here to put a stop to all this stupid weirdness. And I'm here to get Joshua back. Ah, yes. Sadly, I'm afraid that won't be happening. What do you mean? Joshua, hey! No matter how much you try to deny it, the truth remains. Joshua's mind is little more than a construct. The stigma on his shoulder is proof. Proof that he is of Oroboros, that he is my possession. How dare you! Perhaps if Joshua had somehow erased the stigma of his own will, he could have found release. But alas, he never managed to get that far. It would be best if I kept him as a research subject for a little bit longer. Such unbelievable evil! Keep talking, pal! It'll be beating you. I'll be beating your face in that much sweet. It, it, it'll be, it'll make beating your face in that much sweeter. Goodness me, such insults and how imp impotent they are. You see, I suspect Joshua realized very quickly that the stigma on his shoulder, what the stigma on his shoulder meant. Surely he knew something like this exact situation would occur. Uh Yet he never breathed, uh, uh, breathed a word of the, his troubles to any of you, did he? Not even a whisper. And conversely, none of you were sensitive enough to notice his pain. 
What power these bonds of yours have. What complete earth-shaking potential. I... Huh. But come now, there's no need for long faces. You have been granted the privilege of being here for this glorious moment. All that remains now is to make the correct choice. Privilege? Choice? What are you... What are you talking on about? Perhaps I should start from the very beginning. How much do you know, I wonder? About this city and the events that occurred here with the Oriole nearly 1200 years before our time. Uh... So that is the Oriole. It most certainly is. One of the ultimate artifacts capable of producing literally endless power and shaping miracles with it. But the ancients sealed it away despite its limitless science-shattering potential. Why do you think they would do such a thing? I don't know the whole story, I'm, I'm sure, but... The data left in the tower said it was having a bad influence on people and society. Ah, you actually managed to put all those together, did you? That will make this quick, then. Allow me to play the role of Professor once more and elu elucidate the truth of the matter. Millennia ago, Ideos of the Sky granted humanity the seven treasures. For brevity's sake, we'll say one utilized this facet of your reality in order to manifest miracles in their own way. Humanity split into seven factions, each centered around a treasure, to pursue an ideal based on the powers of the given treasure. One such ideal was this, Liber Arc, this, a city in the sky with the aureole at its center. A paradise removed from the troubles of the ground where each man's gospel could grant any wish through the aureole. Mankind lived a bountiful life here, absolutely free of strife. Over time, however, people's lives were swallowed up in this artificial bliss granted to them by the Oriole. Not just physical ecstasy, but even dreams were provided by the Oriole. False realities granted people long such spiritual fulfillment. The people of Liberarc depended on miracles that were all but a narcotic, dependent on miracles that were all but a narcotic, began treed treading the path to annihilation. The Ark's inhabitants lost all sense of ambition and ethics and slid into madness and despair. Birth rates dropped catastrophically, while su suicide and bizarre crime ran rampant, and the whole of society walked the path to a slow demise. But the Oriole passed no judgment on these people, it merely granted the miracles asked of it. And so the shining jewel of the sky became a den of evil and chaos. This was the situation Celeste Ausleys and her conspirators faced over 1,000 years ago. They built the Great Seal and the Device Towers, even as they fought off the Guardians of the Oriole, which it sent forth to save itself. And, at last, they sealed not just the Oriole, but the entire city in another dimension. Th that's what happened 1,200 years ago? I never would have imagined! Damn, that's messed up! I will grant the Elder Auslesers did quite well, given the circumstances, but think for a moment. The cost of Celeste's victory was humanity being cast forth into a land of chaos, forced to start again from nearly nothing. Think of all the suffering man endured then, and endures now, as man savages one another with endless petty wars. Can it truly be said that she made the right decision? Well. On the other hand, we have gained or regained orbital technology and once again live bountiful, easy lives. At this rate, only two ends are possible. Either we continuously seek to dominate one another and, unable to control ourselves, obliterate each other in an orgy of conflict, or, like the people of old, we sink into narcotic self-pleasure, let automated systems run the world and live as farm animals. Either physical or mental annihilation awaits. Uh, there is but one single path for humanity if it wishes to survive. 
The beasts of mankind must be led to the point where they obtain the two things required for true enlightened sentience. A flawless rationality capable of resisting any temptation and unswayed by even the fiercest circumstances. And peerless intelligence, ever capable of finding the correct solution unmoved by crude emotion. This is the true goal of the Gospel plan, to do what even the ancients could not, to advance our minds to what, sh what they should be. What madness! You're screwed in the head, pal! I would so appreciate it if you would not look at me as, I've wor as if I were a megalomaniacal, a me megalomaniacal lunatic. Man cannot help but change and reform through fear when confronted with something beyond its imagining. In that sense, what better tool exists to drive evolution forward than the Oriole? I will guide mankind onto the correct path to salvation with this great treasure for my dios. That is my duty as one of the Anguis, my duty to Robros and its master. <sighs> Boy, I bet you're a real hit at parties. Not. Oh, what's this? A flawless rationality capable of resisting any temptation and unswayed by even the fiercest circumstances. Peerless intelligence ever capable of finding the correct solution, unmoved by crude emotion. What's the point of any of that? It seems someone was sleeping during the lecture. As I said, mankind faces annihilation through, uh, through either conflict or mental entropy. The only way we can... No, no, I, I heard the lecture just fine. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm trying to say is, isn't there something we can do about the problems you described, if, if we know they exist? Mm -hmm. It's like Joshua said to Löwe, we aren't completely powerless. They might not be guided by flawless, peerless whatever, but everyone's working together to get through the crisis going on right now. I've gone across all liberal, and seen it all with my own eyes. Don't you think we're capable of getting along just fine without some kind of forceful grand transformation? Really now, eking our survival by flocking together is, some be is how beasts and insects live. Is that really all you have to offer on the potential of humanity as it stands now? Is there anything else I need to offer? Is there a problem with being the same? I mean, we are living, uh, we are living beings too, you know? And heck, aren't I just talking about the stretch of life? Aren't I just talking about the strength of life? What? I don't think people are just animals, of course. I just think that li that living honestly with that spark of life from others as your driving force, that's what it means to live. People don't need to be omnipotent, super beings or whatever you want them to be. People just need to be aware of one another and help each other out. <laughs> and you know what? I bet the people who sealed the warrior all away in the first place felt the same way. I mean, sure, making miracles mundane and relying on uh, on nothing but them is really bad by itself. But the biggest problem there, more than anything, is that it makes it so there's no point in knowing or helping each other. That's awful. You're right. Yeah, people like to think they're, li island uh, they're islands, but there's no way you can live without the help of everyone else around you. Right on, Estelle. Still sticking to the mutual assistance argument and invoking the power of human bonds of all things. I would ask you to read a history book before saying such nonsense, Miss Bright. As an example, consider the overpowering nation-crushing machine called war. Is man not only capable of being ground beneath its th treads? Absolutely not! In the middle of, bi of the biggest war in liberals' history, my mother gave her life to save mine. And because of that, I chose the path, of a, uh, the path of a bracer, and now, look at me. I'm here to stop the crisis you caused and prevent another war from breaking out. All thanks, in the end, to my mother. Hell, I'd say you just made my point for, for me. People are not powerless, not against anything. Hmm. You're quite good at trite at answers, if nothing else. If you really s seriously believe people are powerless, 
And you've really conceived yourself, humanity can only be saved by you turning us into emotionless super beings. Then that makes you really pathetic, I think. What? I mean, that would just mean you've never known the joy of trusting someone or helping them. To think that you're only smug, your only smug satisfaction comes from watching people struggle. That's just... That's too sad. <laughs> but even if I feel sorry for you, I am a bracer. I can't ignore the fact that you're getting a lot of people involved in your little pity party. Sorry, but I'm afraid we're going to have to stop you. By force. Ah, you ignorant little girl. How dare you talk to me like that? Very well, then. The professor would like for you to prove your theory. Ah! What the? I can't move. What? Do be patient for a moment, everyone. I promise this will be quite a show. What are you planning, Weissmann? Joshua, forward. Joshua, no! Come, Miss Bright, do show me. You claim humanity can stand against forces larger than it? Show me proof you can stand against despair. Fine! Joshua! Oh, oh, quite an impressive, impressive move. Leaving him with a divine blade for a while seems to have paid off nicely. It does always feel good to see a product of one's craft honed to an even finer edge. You awful! And now for the climax of our, uh, to our little show. Joshua, seize her! No! Estelle! And thus, the strength of humanity proves to be nothing more than a house of cards before a hurricane. But I am an academic after all. I do understand the necessity of proof. So we'll have Joshua provide the final test. What? What indeed. It will be a simple experiment. I'm going to have Joshua end your life. Once you're dead by his hand, I will break his hypnosis and return him to his senses. No! You can't! Oh, I do wonder what kind of expression Joshua will have on seeing you dead at his feet. Doesn't it just get your blood pumping? Don't even think about it. If you do that, Joshua would... He'd... Yes. This time his heart may just be crushed to powder. If that happens, however, all I need to do is construct him a new persona. And then I can offer him the chance to become human yet again and observe the results. <laughs> I can hardly wait. Stop. Stop. It's too cruel. Is it? Now come, Joshua. Enter. Joshua, I'm sorry. I said I wouldn't die. I promised I'd walk with you. Joshua, please, no! Joshua, make your dumbass up and wake your dumbass up and stop! But I believe in you. Joshua, don't give in. Don't run away from reality, even if I die. Do you, to be honest, if you did die, I'm not sure I could face reality. Thank you, Kevin. What? Ah! About time you snapped out of it! Joshua? Sorry, Estelle. I didn't mean to scare you like that. 
What? What? This is absurd. He can't possibly have reclaimed his will with the... Wait. The stigma. What happened to the stigma on your shoulder? Oh, yeah, bad. The stigma you carved into my flesh and mind is gone. Thanks to you, it's been shattered. B but how? I had a hypnotic wedge of sorts jammed into the stigma, keyed to a particular command. I've been poking at the wedge of my own since then, getting it ready to shatter the stigma the instant someone put pressure on it. What? You? And... Uh, uh, what now? The wedge! I was afraid I wouldn't be able to keep, your pro keep our promise the way things were going. So I'd ask Kevin for a little hypnotic, hypnotic assistance after we crashed. Kevin! This is Kevin Graham's doing, isn't it? I thought he was just a fledgling little squire, but it seems I underestimated his bag of cute tricks. A mistake I'll not repeat. At this point, I owe him, owe him my freedom and my life. Of course, I owe someone else the same for pointing me in the right direction. What? Who else? No! Cassius Bright, damn you! Dead? Oh! The letter he gave you before we got, through, uh, got on the RCA. Yes. That was why he wanted me to, uh, he wanted to make sure only I read the letter, just in case anyone was listening in. I suspect your best chance of breaking the cures lies in Father Kevin's hands. How to use that key is a decision that must be yours alone to make. Win your freedom by pretending what Weissman will do, by predicting what Weissman will do. Ha! Yeah, that's the old man, all right. Oh, for crying out, Dad could have dropped me a hint about this at least. <clears throat> Honestly, I'd been worried about it for a long time. I kept wondering what you would make uh, make me do if I took uh, if you took control of me again. And so, knowing you, I decided to bet everything on one idea. That you couldn't possibly resist ordering me to do one thing I feared the most. And sure enough, you ordered it. And that broke the stigma. I'm finally completely free of you. Joshua. You foolish little kid. If you had just obeyed me, you could have, you could have aspired to such heights. I could have advanced you in ways you cannot even dream of. Much like Estelle turned you down once, I really have no interest in any of that. Besides, if I've learned anything in this whole journey, it's that one's path in life isn't given by someone else. It's something you find with others as you search for it, no matter how dark your surroundings. <laughs> Absurd! The history of man is stained with the blood of fools who tried finding your path. Without a guiding light to shine on that road, they shall remain last. You're wrong. We use the light we give each uh, we give off uh, we give off to find our way together. That is how we fa found our way here through all our, your cynical traps. That's right. <laughs> you do like your speeches, don't you? You shambling wreck of an enforcer. Show me then. Show me this light you claim will guide you through the darkness. And I shall show you in turn the blinding light of a loyal servant of the Grand Maester. The power of the faceless, one of the anguish. Bring it on! The one being blinded here is you. Combat Shell, 8000 HP, miniature weapon only usable by skilled arts practitioners, driven by users' brainwaves. Same here, same for this one, same for this one. Weissman, one of the anguas known as the Faceless, uses forbidden curses. So, how about, uh, I don't know. 
Is it is it wrong for me to be a little scared to have a little bit of respect to this fight? I'm kind of scared right now. But you know how every fight will start from now on. That moved everybody. We have movement down. <laughs> Thanks, by the way. It's pretty good that I was able to cast that Earth Guard on everybody here. They have an AoE attack, don't they? No, they don't. Now, now, don't be mean. I'm still here after all. Speed up for Chloe, nice. Another guard. Are you gonna attack a gate to make it perfect? No, you're not. If I can do that and that works, I will be amazed. But everybody's gonna be resistant against this. Mm. Thunder of Justice. I'm gonna be using my HP up. Right now. Lichtkreis is always a great thing, you know. Yeah, I could have used the TR all, but um, for the moment this is going to be exactly what I need. Got speed down on most of them. We're grouped up together very nicely. By the way, that is a little bit of a, an understatement. We're not grouped up very nicely. We're in a bad situation being grouped up like this. But, um, I might wanna, if I use Earth Wall again, it's gonna be, it's gonna be worth it. Only Gate doesn't have speed up, does he need it? I might actually want to use a True Hurricane here. Ah, that is a slight problem. This attack had um, movement down associated with it. We're not grouped together because we, we think this is cozy and fun. We're grouped together because we don't have much of a choice in the matter. Ooh, very good miss. There's a critical round coming up. I intend to have... Um, I intend to have Joshua take that on. Resisted the attack. No, they did not resist the attack delay at all. He resisted the seal. That's good. Death Scream will not do too, too much. Now I'm gonna be using Earth Wall again because Weissman's magic is actually quite potent. This is oh, this is Joshua. Grrr. Sorry, I mistook you for 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 Chloe. They're not resistant against attack delay. Yeah, I might as well delay all of them then. Oh, snap, I wanted to take the critical round. I don't want to squirm for you, though. Oh, God. Hmm. 
Mm, that's not going to cut it. That is not going to cut the mustard right now. Oh boy. Um, the gate is... Ah, oh darn. The gate is confused. Joshua is badly injured. Attack up. Mighty essence for Joshua. The movement down really sucks, I have to say. Let's make it good, though. I'm gonna take another sip of my water, by the way. I, I don't want to get myself dehydrated, do I? Alright, his little minions are down. Now we have only one enemy to face, but it is quite the enemy. I don't have a Licht Lichtkreis ready and a gate is confused. I'm going to use Litiara. No. Oh yeah, in the critical round Litiara is more than enough. And I'm gonna cure a gate of this confusion. Because confuse sucks. I wouldn't want him to do anything against my people. So Lecuria should also cure the movement down. But I'm not entirely sure in the, uh, of that. No, it didn't. Uh. Well, Weissman. 11,000 health left. But you don't want to judge a book by its cover, do you? I don't. This is not everything. We still have to worry about the Oriole, after all. The thing I'm gonna worry about is... Uh, I. Uh, what do you... Uh, no, thanks, no. Do you have... Uh, penetrate and impede. Okay, that blocked him out of his arts usage. That would have probably been not so nice if it had actually come to pass. The thing I want to worry about, worry about is before I beat Weissmann in this fight, I want to be um, at full health. Although he gives quite a lot of experience and I, I presume it's not going to give us like half that. I presume that I'm going to get a fair bit of experience after this fight, so I might not want to worry. Um, about getting my um, mana and health all filled up again. And instead worry about my CP bars. Ah, oh, I didn't equip the gladiator belt. Gosh darn it. I had a gladiator belt. Could have equipped that. At that point I would have been in Joshua's situation. How far can you move? Oh, of course you can move far. Not done yet. I don't think Estelle will know if Estelle won't make it. No. The only one who leveled up was... a gate. Joshua? I think Joshua. Oh my, what a shock. To think that you would be so damn tenacious. <sighs> hey, Professor. About time you drop that holier-than-thou act. Ah, someone knows he's up against the wall. <laughs> Pathetic. You haven't even realized you're standing on your graves. What? 
Uh, Weissmann, what are you doing? I had intended to offer it to the Grand Maester like this, but I must change my plans. It is time you realize just what it means to oppose me. What in the... He wouldn't. He's fusing with Yoriol! How's that even? You are so beyond kidding me at this point. This overwhelming power can barely stand. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, the sensation. Even better than I imagined. Shall we experiment then? The power of apotheosis, unflinching reason, indomitable intellect guiding humanity to the future. Angel Weissmann. 69,000 HP. I wonder what that means. Weissmann the Faceless fused with a Shining Aureole. It is deploying some kind of field. You are right about that. It is deploying some kind of field. Yeah, that's probably not going to be happening here. Earth wall can only... Oh, yes. I should not have used clog up X on uh, gate, but uh, Chloe... Godly lands, Inanna. Mm, there, a lesson learned, I think. A lesson in real power. This is nuts. Our attacks aren't hitting him at all. He's got some kind of barrier up. If it's if it's neg if it's negating uh, even our arts and our best techniques, learn, children. The aureole is the treasure of space. One of its very very many powers is forming an absolute barrier, incomparable to simple orbital arts. You cannot even touch me. Yeah, the evil eye. You sick twisted son of a. Weissman, let them go! Those eyes, magnificent. You may be a wreck of an enforcer, but oh, what a waste of it. A waste it would, have be, it would be to kill you. I would much prefer to etch another stigma into the depth of your mind. Just as before, I'll give you a renewed sense of hope, then tear it out by the roots and give you ra leave you writhing. Nothing pleases me more than to see that shift in your expression from hope to despair. I do so look forward to it. I can't believe this. Forget bad taste. The only word for you at this point is sick. Who? Oh. Löwe. Mm, I suppose I should have finished you off. Though really, Löwe, what are you planning on doing? Not even your dra dragon can b break the Oriole's barrier. I suppose it can't. I did have a question for you, though, Weissmann. 
Just how involved were you in Hamel? Wait, what? Now, what a thing to accuse me of. That was purely the fault of the Empire's Hawks, no? Why would you even? Th why would you ever think I would be involved? Because you're a snake. You appear before people in their moments of weakness and whisper plans into their ears that lead to their destruction. And in doing so, you achieve your goals without ever dirtying your belly. That's just how your way. Uh, that is just your way of doing things. No, he. What he? The ringleaders of the Hawks were nothing more than political losers who had nowhere to else to go. There were there were a few questions I couldn't answer at first, but if even the war ten years ago was part of your plan, it then occurred to me everything made made sense. <laughs> I see. It is largely as you surmise. W what? Of course, really. All I did was introduce them to a band of Jaeger dropouts I knew and put the name Hamel in their ears. Just doing what was enough to push things to war in the blink of an eye. <laughs> Simply one more testament to the sinful nature of men. You son of a bitch! Misha died just so you could prove a goddamn point! What you've done is... It's unforgivable, you monster! I... I think I'm gonna be sick. I see. Essentially as I saw it then. You're taking this rather well. Personally, I was hoping you'd be a bit more resentful. Ha! Huh. Have you forgotten? I've long since learned to stay my anger. However, you knocked me out from just behind back there. That is an insult the Blade Lord cannot abide. That alone I shall be paying back in full. What? Ta! Absurd! Absurd! The Oriole's barrier is absolute! It cannot be harmed by... Wait! That sword! Of course! Yes, the sword granted to me by the Grand Maester. Just like your staff, it's a demon sword forged through the di divergent laws. Careless of, careless of me. Curse you! Get away! Get away, you insect! <laughs> Too late! Oh no! Lerva! Forget about me. Your path, path is clear. Strike him down! Lerva. You dare strike one such as I? No matter. The absolute barrier is but a trifle of the Oriole's power. I shall bring forth its full force and let you savor the despair. Just try it, you son of a bitch! Okay, you. As a bracer, as a citizen of liberal, and more than anything, as a human being, I'm taking you down! Weissmann, this is the end. Greed Looper, 9000 HP. Monster born from Angel Weissman's flesh. Has abnormal recovery abilities. Angel Weissman. Weissman fused with his Shining Aureole. His madness inducing waves are unblockable. Unblockable, you say? Hmm. Hmm. But what, 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 what if I use immunity? Defense and arts defense down for him when he's preparing to use arts? 
that does not mean anything good. Just saying. Does that mean he's not immune against speed down? Let's see just how good, good speed up X is. I wouldn't want to be hit by this. No. <laughs> Carcatus. Unblockable, my. Well, something. Clock him down. This is not gonna end up being pretty. Is that possible? No, it's not. But he's. Um. He is vulnerable when you. What I'm trying to say he's vul is uh, he's he is very vulnerable while he's trying to prepare Carcatus there. But you cannot stop him from doing so. All we can do is raise our own arts defense and try to make it look good. Since these strange things here have great recovery abilities, we are gonna have to take care of these. There's a critical run coming up, I'm gonna snipe that with Joshua. I'm gonna need him to have uh, strength up though. Which I'm going to do by giving him... Speed up. Strength and defense up. Strength up 15%. Best thing I have is strength up 20%, isn't it? my last one too. That will not do 9,000 damage by the way. I'm just gonna say that. That stole I think CP. Depending on how much damage it does, I'm going to attack with a gate afterward. Not, it did not kill all of them. Which means, a gate, you're needed. I wonder though, if I cast immunity on a gate and he uses wild rage and gains 150 CP for hurting himself, do you protect yourself from being hurt? Most likely not, but... Wouldn't that be rather convenient? If it did work like that? gonna be a jerk about it, so I'll move back here. Calamitous star something. What 
One, two, three, four, five. Oh my god, that's a lot. That'll put Estelle in a position where she's be uh, she's able to have immunity cast on her. Chloe's gonna have to stay in the back, but uh, you also have healing abilities, which is nice. Um, I might just use heal on Chloe. <clears throat> because Chloe's gonna um, heal our people herself. Or, well, not so much heal them, but guard them. And with Estelle, I'm gonna heal up. No, never mind, I don't need to. The gate and Joshua are at full health. Only prepared person hurt is Estelle. But she is badly hurt. He's gonna get arts ready this turn and thus he gets defense and arts defense down by a significant amount holy stray gases oh god that was that was the wrong character i thought i was joshua there for a moment but I actually used uh, magic just a second ago with, yeah, you might not believe it, with a gate. A gate's gonna be pretty cool about this, though. But not in terms of his damage. I strength up round. I'm not gonna get a better opportunity to use this wheel of time. You're being quite ballsy there, Estelle. I would not be so ballsy if I were you, but that's just that's just your personal preference so that is okay I don't know if I did consider him up considerable amounts of damage but I feel like I did quite well let's continue using my napalms and everything you just continue using not the crest but earth wall here the earth wall spam is considerably stronger than you'd expect and it's a well Let's say, very viable strategy. Oh, there's goes. Yeah. Show him how it's done. Show him how it's done. Well, that's more like it, but still, I wouldn't call it good. He's basically resisting against everything I can throw at his face. One of the best things I could do right now would probably be EP charge 2 on Chloe. I wonder how large the AOE on Chloe Chloe's Lichtkreis is actually. I'm gonna have to check that in a second. You Cyclone Napalm again, and you. I wanna check it out. Lichtkreis. It goes right there. So I can take one step forward with a gate in Joshua, theoretically. Or or step with. Uh, step. Um, up a little bit with Chloe, although she's gonna get knocked back next time, so. That might not be worth much. I think melee damage might end up being pretty good here. But I'm gonna just use single target magic.
just because I'm not entirely sure how to handle the situation. I'll try my best, but don't... Well, he doesn't take a huge amount of damage right now. But we don't either. Oh, you're full out of everything. Can you hit him? You cannot. Then you'll move up. That was a little far. It was about time you did this. It was about time. I was, uh, I was surprised to begin with that I could just wipe them all out. Come on, use something good again. Joshua's Assbreaker is almost full again. If I get a critical round, it's gonna be very, very good. But right now is not the time to use it, I don't think. So you're able to use Carcatus too, huh? Well, good for you. Well, I'm not using Carcatus right now because it just blows, it just breezes through all my EP. Why would I do that? God, Lily Yelanziana, without... I forgot to recover. That's scary. That's not good. I forgot to recover my Earth Wall. Let's make up again. Um, Chloe's gonna use another another bit of Earth Wall here. Because immunity is still better than health. I shouldn't have done that. I only have the one life, you know? Okay, Chloe's gonna get another turn before um, he charges up his stupid thing again. That should murder this little plant thing. Not quite. Critical round. Not gonna utilize it. I thought about using the ass break that Joshua has to offer, but it's not gonna be viable. You use Cyclone Napalm, you just continue on. That defense down is gonna go away, but... You're gonna have to stick around and um, keep your immunity up. I hope I get around to healing myself soon. Lit your all. Yes, that involves Chloe. That'll breeze through my uh, MP, but that's okay. For the moment, Lit your all is gonna be very useful. Charge up that stupid magic of yours again. There it goes. It's his turn in a second again? Really? There's two critical rounds coming up. If I can snipe those, I'm gonna be in the business. For the moment, I'm gonna charge up this Cyclone Napalm, but I don't think I'll utilize it. Um, since I'll be using this with Chloe, which will do enormous damage, I will most likely be... No, I should keep it for a bad situation. I shouldn't use it now. I don't use it now because it's ungreedy. 
I'm greedy, okay? He still has strength up. It's a critical round. Enemy has defense down. This is gonna do 10,000 damage. That was no overstatement. The Bisfall. It has death blow associated with it. You fail to notice this innocent bystander in the back there. That seems to be like I think that is what happened just a second ago. Ooh, you resisted the seal. That was quite a bit of damage, a gate. I'm proud. Don't forget the Earth Guard. I believe if he um, tries to charge up Arts again, we're gonna be able to murder him. But we might be able to before that. We are not playing a, a, a nightmare mode, you should remember that. Even without equipping that gladiator belt we got, we can still do this. 9,000 HP left. Fine. Crit round, snipe. At this point I would expect my speed up to wear off, but no, it seems to be going on for quite a bit. He's only got very little health left. That's an ass breaker right there. And you know what that round coming up is? Well, hmm. Let's get him down a little farther. Laguna Edge should do 2,000 damage here. Oh boy. So, I'm gonna finish Angel Weissman. But... You know, I usually don't do these kinds of cliffhangers, but I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you really want to, uh, want to see Weissman suffer, you're gonna have to tune in for the next time. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I'll see you in the next episode as well. Until then, bye-bye.